G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in over on the northwest side of the map, it's going to be Hera and he's going to be playing a little bit of English for us today. His opponent who spawns on the opposite side of the map, it is 3DB and he's going to be playing a little bit of the Delhi Sultanate. So we've seen these players go up against each other before. They are very competent individuals. You can see by their ranks in the top right hand corner of your screen up here uh, that they are ranked 21 and ranked 17 respectively. So I'm looking forward to a pretty good game today. Uh, we'll take a look over at 3DB. We can see that it looks like he's doing the double scout and indeed he is. Uh, Hera also going to be opening up with a double scout. So this is definitely becoming a quickly meta. Uh, both players opening up with that double scout early on and a villager already coming out this early for 3DB. Is he looking to wall? He's, no, he's actually going to dock his opponent's side. This is a forward dock. This is an aggressive dock. This is a, hey, you, you get out of here. You get out of here with any fishing boats. Uh, both players looking to actually trade out a little bit uh, right here. I think 3DB may be taken by surprise here. Um, obviously, double scouts are going to be quite potent uh, in dealing with this. But obviously, keep in mind, all he cares about is getting that dock up. That's going to what is going to be so important for him. And we see that he's actually... What is he doing with the vill? Was the vill actually going to cut those off? Four villagers now going to be coming forward for Hera. So just when you thought Hera was in a bit of a difficult spot because his enemy uh, was coming in with the forward dock, he brings forward the four villagers. Now, keep in mind, these guys absolutely fucked, dude. Five damage each. 20 damage in total. This villager's got 50 health. 3DB going to have to fall back. He spots those villagers. And Hera doing his best to force his opponent back here. Really nice play by 3DB to come up here and try and force his opponent off water before he even gets on there. But then the, the response from Hera is just simply, well, hey, you can't do that. I'm not going to let you. And he actually manages to push his opponent back. So it, it is very interesting to see the dynamics between these two players and to see that Hera, uh, you know, he is able to force his opponent back. Had 3DB just gone for a standard dock somewhere around here, he would be in an absolutely great position because he'd be able to expand. He could add a second dock out, maybe even bring up two villages to do this. But as a consequence now, he's just going to have to be throwing in the towel when it comes to this dock. At least that's what it seems like he's going to be doing. Uh, he is going to be going for a dock back at home. Uh, losing out one of his uh, his scouts and doing a bit of animation cancelling. We can see it right now. Uh, you can watch with the animation cancel just how quickly they are able to do it. That scout going to have two health left on it as it manages to survive. And I think 3DB is going to be trying his best to get back to his base. Heal up that scout. Going to be able to do it. Forestry now getting completed for him as well. Early up in the game. And geez, we've had a lot of action and we've only just begun. Manages to slay the sheep in the middle of the in the middle of the crossing. Doc now going to be coming out, and I think we might have a double dock opening here from 3DB. He was thinking about heading towards this. Excuse me, heading towards this dock, uh, but Hera is on the ball when it comes to this. Another scout going to be coming out from 3DB. So actually. Not training a villager, and instead training a scout. So very curious to see that in this early aggressive uh, game that we've already got a second scout being drawn out. Three villagers coming across and looking to... to do damage significantly uh, to this villager, but keep in mind that he is able to force his opponent to idle three villagers for the price of one. So this is still a good trade for 3DB. Uh, an actual dock has gone up from Hera up towards the north, so he's going to be very happy with that, able to get that dock out. And now towards the... Uh, now now uh, Hera actually going to be taking out a scout, so that's the second scout that goes out. And uh, do we have any fishing boats coming around for backup? Ideally, what this fishing boat should be doing is heading all the way around here and then be taking out those villagers. Uh, villagers are going to be doing a great job of coming forward. We see that uh, we've actually got wolves coming in on the action, looking to, to pick up a few bodies, uh, not managing to do it. Uh, villagers just teeing off, and you can see the fishing boat coming in as well. Plenty of wolves in here looking for a, a taste of the action, but not going to find it as those villagers, as well as the scouts, clean it up. And we have got an absolutely insane game for you guys today. This is absolutely ludicrous how much these guys uh, or how well these guys are playing. Now we do see that fishing boat coming out. We talked about this a little bit earlier and you can see now Hera's in a bit of a difficult problem. He's got three villagers in the middle. Okay, sure, he's taken out one villager from 3DB, but at the same time now he's in a difficult spot because this fishing boat is going to be able to come up here, provide a significant amount of cover across this dock. And once this dock does get up, we see the next villager going to be coming out here. Scout may be going down here, I suspect. He's actually drawing it towards the fishing boats. He knows that he may lose it. 
More villagers coming out. Another scout coming out now. So, so many scouts coming out. We're not even close to aging up at this point in time. Has either player... No player's actually gone towards gold. In fact, Hera just dropping down the mining camp right now. Um, but slowly and steadily expanding. We actually have an outpost going to get dropped down here. Now, keep in mind, the fishing boat can actually zoom past the outpost. But then he just moves the fishing boats down here. You can keep them safely underneath. And look at all the damage that comes out there. You've got to be so careful with those fishing boats. So, the idea is that you want to keep at least, you know, three to four... Uh, villagers out here just just uh, collecting up those shore fish and then when your enemy comes nearby with those fishing boats uh, then that is going to be the way that you actually deal with those fishing boats because with the Delhi they are incredibly strong on the water you've got to be so careful with them but one of the ways that you can actually deal with them is just by putting this outpost down as long as it's in a a potent position and it definitely seems like it is here this should be more than enough enough coverage as long as Hera is able to react to it in time that is going to be the one key. And Hera coming in, looking to get a second shot here. It looks like the, the Sean the Sheep is actually going to be blocking him out. Getting the second dock up now. So I would expect that we might see three to four um, fishing boats actually move up past this dock and then begin to focus down these fishing boats. Um, but obviously Hera is then going to be able to move his fishing boats down to the south side here. And if he's got his fishing boat sitting right here, then subsequently 3DB is going to have to move his back across. And this outpost is just going to provide way too much coverage. So I think 3DB he's probably just going to be happy that his opponent has invested in that outpost there but at the same time you know appreciating that he's going to be on water so not going to have a significant advantage but we'll take a look over at 3d space see exactly what he's going up to or what he's getting up to four villagers on gold now i would expect from here he's going to be fast castling i can't imagine he's going to be spending too much time in the second age so we'll have to see exactly how he plays it uh, towards the north of the map, a, a scout is heading out. Um, and one of the primary things is that he's looking for uh, information. He, that is what he's trying to do. He's trying to determine exactly what his opponent is up to. Uh, Herod dropping down a second dock now. So really playing quite seriously. Uh, when it comes to water, I didn't expect that. Honestly, from Hera, all he really could have done is if he just walled across here once he gets to the second age. Because obviously he's going to be able to, to go up. Okay, I thought he's going with the council hall. I thought this was the Abbey of the Kings for a second. I'm like, he's not, is he? So if he brought villagers out to wall this across, uh, he would not be able, or he, he wouldn't be successful. And the reason why is because the fishing boats would be able to kill the villagers. But what he can do is he can actually bring his longbows out. Longbows are then going to be able to deny these uh, these fishing boats. And then subsequently, they're going to have to retreat back over towards this side. And then he can wall the crossing. But now we've actually got Herald uh, getting walled in. Uh, towards the north. This wasn't something I expected to happen. So 3DB going to be doing the walling. So keep in mind, you can do a cross uh, across this way. It will prevent land units from coming across. If you do a crossing up this way or a, a wall this way, it's going to prevent water units from coming across. So yes, you can actually wall the water in. But now, villagers going to get pulled forward. Villager might be going down here. 3DB not paying attention. He's just going to commit to it and try and get that wall up. He manages to get a segment up. Villager does go down. You see it evaporate into the crossing right there. They still haven't worked out that uh, that perfectly at this stage. You can see that he is definitely all hold bars at the all hold bars. Is that is that the right term? I'm not sure exactly. All bars. I, I can't remember exactly what it is. Seven villagers though heading or uh, finishing up that dome of the faith. You can see he's actually picking up the scholars. Mosca dropped down. Can be researching sanctity now. Of course he's got his mining camp up. A lot of villagers on gold and Hera scouts that out as well so he's going to be well aware of what his enemy is up to not managing to sneak off any sneaky attacks on the scout as it does run past town center no villagers uh caught inside at this at this point in time now longbows begin to make their ascent uh, towards the dock and going to be in firing or focusing down rather the docks they should ideally be focusing the fishing boats but they're going to be so careful because the fishing boats are going to move up and you watch how quickly they shred through this not very quickly at all because they couldn't get in range. But that's okay. That's all right. Uh, now Hera is going to be in a decent spot because he's able to push his opponent back. We've got this galley up now. I don't think the galley is going to be able to get through because this wall is technically... Uh, it is created. Even though it's sitting at about half HP at the moment. Uh, it's it's not terrible, uh, but it is enough. And now Hera going to be scouting out his opponent, uh, continuing to, to run back towards his base with those sheep. Doing a pretty decent job. And we'll take a look now from 3D's perspective and see exactly what he's up to. You can see he's definitely thinking about the castle age. Is he thinking about any Dows at this point? Indeed, he's getting a Dow out right now. Uh, so the Dow is going to be down. Uh, a slightly longer range on the Dow, if I remember correctly. So we've got four tiles of range here for the fishing boats. First one does manage to go inside. Dow is going to pop out and then provide pretty good coverage here. So it's coming right out. 3.75 range, actually. So a lower range, but more attack. 
uh, and able to subsequently push those back. And the Dow's got a lot more armor when it comes to dealing with these as well. So you can see six attack versus the four armor means that it's going to be a pretty good trade for the Dow. So only taking two damage and then combine that with the fact that the Doc is healing uh, the Dow up at the same time. So he's going to be more than capable of dealing with it. Now both players in this position are actually going to be able to trade out with themselves. Ideally, 3D would, would be wanting to trade that because you can see that Hera is going to continue eating through this wall. Actually, he's not eating through it anymore. So the Dow has somewhat interrupted that. Uh, but Hera in this position, uh, now his enemy is going to be aging up. So we'll take a look and see exactly where that age up is. It's the House of Learning that's going to get dropped down. Uh, 3D, we can't see here from his perspective, but it looks like the House of Learning hasn't been included in this aura, which is the correct decision. So he can actually go for the own Blades technology. We'll check in on it and see exactly how long it takes to construct. I think in the last game we watched him play Delhi, it took about 19 minutes and 58 seconds. So hopefully... It should be significantly reduced now because uh, it's not going to be within that range. But the second Dow going to be coming out now. You see just how little damage gets done to these Dows. It's quite funny. Uh, but the Longbows, obviously, uh, they are sitting on the shoreline. They're going to somewhat just be chilling out in the base for the moment. Uh, we'll take a look over at the perspective of H H Hera. We'll see exactly what he's up to, whether he's thinking about going up to the third H himself. And indeed he is. You can see he's heading up now, dropping down the King's Palace on a stone mine, on a wood line. This is very nice for him. So he's got a lot of wood in here. 64 trees he's going to be able to access. That's that's a lot of wood. I'm just going to do the math very quickly, but it, it works out to about 9,600 wood, if I'm correct. Uh, I think I'm correct right there. 9,600 wood. So that's a lot of wood. That That is basically all of the wood that you need until maybe... 30 minutes as uh, as the English because uh, obviously he's got other wood lines that he's going to be able to access as well 3db now reaching the castle age Hera going to be right up behind him we'll take a look at 3db's perspective I want to see exactly how long honed blade takes it's still 17 minutes actually it's sitting in inside the influence radius unfortunately so it is it's going to go up to 17 minutes I think every scholar actually increases it uh, we can see, yeah, there's no more scholars going to be coming out at the moment. Hera now getting up to the next age as well. 3DB actually evacuating the dance floor for the moment, so probably going to put in another crossing. I wouldn't be surprised just to delay the inevitable push of the galley uh, that comes. But keep in mind, this is the brand new version of Danube. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So it is a much more improved map. I, I do prefer this significantly over the previous one. As you guys are aware, with the previous Danube, the way that it generated, it was kind of terrible. It was like, sometimes you get like half a map. Sometimes you get a quarter of a map. Sometimes you get a third. And it was always just terribly random. But in this one, it's a lot easier uh, to predict how it goes. But now we've actually got the tide beginning to turn as the backlog comes out. We've got the... Uh, the uh, demolition ship's going to be coming out now for Hera. He's going to be making double demos here, but how is he? Hera is able to get around. The, the, the Dows are able to get around this corner of the wall, but the galley couldn't. I guess it's got a big body. Is it, is it, is it just a classic type? If, for anybody who ever played, uh, there was a game back in the game, in the, in the day rather, called um, Star Wars The Old Republic. And they had different body types. Body type 1, 2, 3, 4. And the, as you would go up body types, they would get increasingly fatter or larger or more muscular. And I remember there was a guild back in the day called Body Type 4 Can't LOS. And <laughs> what that meant is if you picked the fattest body type, you couldn't line of sight around corners because you were too big. And it's exactly the same right here. So the Bagler is not able to <laughs> not able to line of sight around corners and the exact same from the galley. But you can see that little Dow, he's able to get through. He's able to get through that sneaky little corner there. So now down towards the south, we've got Hera trading out a scout. Going to be losing a scout. His enemy is 3DB up a little, down a little bit of score at this point in time. We'll do a quick stock take. 57 villagers for Hera, 20 military for him. We'll take a look at 3DB's perspective. We've got 50 villagers and 27 military at this point. We've got a archery range, double archery range, going to be going up for him. Do we have potential? Do we have potential uh, tower elephants coming out? Maybe, maybe. We'll have to see. We'll have to pay attention. And, uh, and see exactly what happens. But now coming down towards the south, we see that these are veteran longbows, so they're going to have a significantly larger effect on this. But the Dows are going to be doing their best, trying to pick them off. Doing a pretty decent job as well. We see the first longbows going down, but not going to be able to get into reach of the rest of those longbows. And the backlar here, I mean, at, at this point, it's very simple that the backlar could just, you know, you, you, uh, for 3D, he could just delete these walls. Uh, but very slowly, he's going to be working them down. We now hear sacred sites going over towards 3D as well. Uh, we've got... Are these demo ships? No, these are fishing ships. What are these guys doing? Why are they heading out? Fishing ships shouldn't be heading out. They're going to be staying... They're going to be fishing. Is he looking for more fish? I mean, if he's looking for fish, there's a lot of fish down here. How many fish are we talking? We're talking 10 fish right here. That's a lot of fish. I guess he's just bringing them back. I think he's probably looking for a push, maybe with backless potentially. I'm not sure exactly what he's thinking about, but now towards the south, actually a relic going to be... Oh, he's going to be wallowing. 
Not going to have enough time, though. I think that scout is going to get away with plenty of space there. All sacred sites do get captured, so very, very cheeky there from 3DB to force the Woolaloo. And now he says, all right, you can kill the scholar or you can take the sacred site. Which one do you want? Do you want the sacred site, which I'm getting 200 gold from, or do you want the, the relic, which I'm going to be keeping for the rest of the game? That is your choice. And now 3DB being so sneaky and coming back to it and saying, hey, that's my sacred site. Don't you dare. Now up towards the north, we've got ourselves a little bit of action as the demo ships run in the try and counter. And a beautiful block there coming in from the backlog, but they managed to get around it. Demo ship going to be coming in. Both of them going down. Oh, that looks terrible. It is absolutely terrible. All of the backlogs going down. So two massive backlogs going down there to the demo ships of Hera. Hera doing a great job. And oh, look at this. He's had hulks behind this the whole time. One galley, three hulks coming in. And Hera down here towards the south, continuing to harass the scholar, but doing such a difficult, having such a difficult time. And now towards the base of 3DB, he's got the war elephants out. The tower war elephants are beginning to rampage as they patrol around the food resources here, looking for enemies. And they managed to spot a couple of them. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of movement speed, so it's going to take time. But now we're in a difficult spot because 3DB is going to lose his entire water economy. There's no two ways about this. Scholar actually trying his best to get out of there. What's he? Is he trying to pull trick right now? What's he? What's he doing exactly? Still got a couple seconds on that conversion attempt. Going to be another 45 seconds. He's not unfortunately going to be getting away from here. Sacred Sight still up this entire time. So look, I, I would say 3DB has done a pretty decent trade right here and going to continue working towards his opponent's base. Fishing boats, or rather dows, now going to be trying their best to take down more of these uh, veteran longbowmen. Not having a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of uh, success, I guess is the word I'm looking for there. It looks like the relic still remains up here uh, for the scholar. So unfortunately, he is going to have to give that one over. But Hera, uh, looking pretty decent at this point in time. Siege workshop going to be going down for him, as well as a couple more houses. And it looks like he might be going up to the Imperial Age very soon. He's got enough resources to click up at this stage. 77 villages for him, so he's going to be really in a great position. Also got a lumber camp in the middle here, so I guess he just had run out of wood. Was that it, or... Oh, that's an explosive now coming through now. Looking to get a bit of damage. Three of those fishing boats are going to go down, so he's going to be happy with that pickup. Still no age up coming through yet from Hera, despite having the resources for it. And now we got the Tower War Elephants, and we've got a little bit of problem for Hera because he's got no gold. At least, not that I can see. He's got this gold down towards the south of his base. He's got another gold up towards the north. He's put a, a mining camp down for it now, but realistically... He, th this is a concern because ideally this is where you want to be putting your age 4 landmark right here because this is going to defend the gold vein it's going to defend this gold vein and it's going to give you a great uh, station station point from for the rest of the game but Hera actually choosing a great spot here so if I was him I'd even go a little bit more aggressive than that maybe head up towards this stone mine right here that way you get a, a few shots over on the water as well potentially uh, once you do get that cannon upgrade but still a very nice spot going to be in a commanding position here as he does hold the middle and going to deny that sacred Site, definitely no way that uh, his opponent 3db is going to be able to hold that but now we've got some sprinkles coming out for Hera as well so Hera is a big fan of the sprinkles you've seen him use it in countless games and going to be using them here as well Dow's coming out explosive Dow coming out behind it and we've got a, a tower war elephant heading towards the middle it spots a couple of those villages gets a little bit of line of sight now going to be moving towards it I'm curious to know exactly how long it's going to take for them to, for it to work through these villages but I suspect it's not going to be too long uh, but unfortunately the sprinkles are nearby and they're going to be pr providing a significant amount of cover those galleys and the Hulk managed to survive the situation uh, from the fire or the explosive Dow. And now towards the base of Hera, he's under attack as more Tower War elephants begin to rampage through his base. We're looking like a tiny town in Thailand right now because those war elephants are having an absolute field day. Picking off villages, Hera hits that Imperial Age. Beautiful timing there from him. We'll take a look and see. I don't actually, from the economic perspective of his opponent, it doesn't even look like he's able to age up. You know what? He could probably just cancel two Tower War elephants and age up. Those things are so damn expensive. Villagers now going to be looking to heal up the uh, the King's Palace. First Tower War Elephant going to be going down. Second and third one just continue sitting up at this point in time. They've got six armor each right now. And these villagers have only got six attack. Compare that to the Longbows, which have got nine. So they're going to be taking three damage each. Now, we can't actually click on the town center and see how much damage they're doing. But you can see the villagers just getting completely slaughtered here by the Tower War Elephants. 3D on 63 villages at the moment. We'll check in on Hera and see what he's at. He's at 70, so managing to even up the score, but obviously sitting in the Imperial Age, it's going to mean it's a bit more difficult for his opponent uh, to catch up to him. 
The Sacred Site now getting neutralized towards the middle, towards the south. There's still no Sacred Site that has been taken back just yet. This King's Palace may actually go down here. There needs to be reinforcing villages that come in. Longbow's doing their best to try and take this out, but he needs Springholds to try and back this up, or at, at the very least, a Bombard. A Bombard would be very good in this situation. The only concern I would have is that the Bombard may actually die. King's Palace may go down here. Keep that in mind. I think it's got 2,400 HP on it. Not exactly sure how much it is. Hera now going to be tapping away at that. Going to be able to heal that up. And you see the villagers getting focused down, sitting in on the back line and trying. They managed to heal through. Tower War Elephant number two does go down. Springled coming out and going to be forcing back this second Tower or third rather, Tower War Elephant. And it looks like Hera is definitely going to hold and look like he is in a great lead. As he hits the Imperial Age, we'll take a look at what kind of upgrades he's thinking about at this point. It doesn't look like too many. He's getting plus two uh, attack and no economic upgrades at this point coming through for him. You see that first Tower War Elephant just getting shredded completely down. That is, is so much damage and it doesn't manage to make it out alive. Now we've got the second one that is going to begin focused down. And look how much damage. I don't think 3DB counted on this amount of damage coming out from this Berkshire Palace. Berkshire Palace also going to be making more Springlets. Springlets coming out at the same time from the Siege Workshop. We don't see the Rod the Shutter triggers coming out just yet. Or the Greased Axles. But uh, we've now got them. And I think 3DB's just tapped out. He said the Berkshire Palace was too strong. Hera, don't do me like this. And he got done like this, unfortunately. Fellas, if you've enjoyed this cast, make sure you leave a like. I'll leave a link in the description to both of these guys' channels. Go say g'day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.